Dude, I never, I never noticed, but look at how long Geralt's swords are. Those things are almost as tall as he is, and he's not a short dude. I think those swords might be taller than I am in real life. I, I'm, I'm only five six. I think Geralt's swimming. I, I think Geralt's swinging my entire height around. God dang. It's probably not even that heavy either. Those are really, really well-made swords. I mean, Geralt takes pride in his swords being well-made. He only goes to the best smiths. So those are probably, like, crazy lightweight and, and like, <clears throat> really well-balanced. Let me, before I choke my coffee, let me actually, out of curiosity, check if we can uh, see how light they are. How much that way? Oh. One pound? Or or is that, how, how much how much weight is that? One arbitrary weight unit. Well, <laughs> I mean, a shirt weighs zero point five Witcher units. This thing weighs as much as three shirts. Dude, just fold up a shirt? Dude. <laughs> this thing weighs almost... Ugh. This thing weighs about as much as, like, four and a half pa pairs of shoes. Dude. Pick up four pairs of shoes, and that's how much Geralt is weighing around. That's crazy light. Considering, like... These things ain't short. <laughs> oh. Actually, come to think of it, is this silver sword lighter? I'm heavier? No, somehow they both weigh exactly the same, even though silver is, I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know. Is silver heavier than steel? Why are you sending me all the way around, Witcher? I can I can clearly go up up here, right? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, that is pretty steep. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, uh oh, uh-oh. No, come on, climb the mountain, girl. Go oh, no dang. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to climb the mountain. And I think I might have gone too too far to really recover this very easily. Come on, jump, girl. Roll, jump and roll. Jump and roll. Come on. Get up there. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Get up there. Come on, girl. Oh, no, 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 no. Roll. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, dude. Come on. You can do it. Climb. Yeah. Look at that shit. No, girl. No, don't stop. Don't relax for even a moment. You gotta keep going. Shit, shit, shit. Climb. Climb. Climb, girl. <gasps> I did it! I actually... Holy cow. Uh, well, uh, wait, hang on. Burn? No. No. Uh, it ard. That's, that's not the fire sign. Holy water. That's... That's it? And four torches? Why are there exactly four torches on the floor? Hmm. A mystery afoot, perhaps. What's this path go to? Nothing. All right. <clears throat> Hope I didn't miss anything crazy by j jumping up the side of the cliff like, uh, like was probably not at all intended. Come on now. Goats, of course. Okay. You don't fucking say! What was that? What is this obnoxiously loud... What is that, like, ghost tar? Ectoplasm? What is that? 
I, I'm getting the urge to get it out of here. The fuck out of here. Immortal snow. I see. Getting a bad vibe from this. This right here. Oh, it's locked. All right, I see. Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Can I see them without the red? Because, like... Man, I barely see those. Ew. Oh, God. What? what? This place is haunted as hell, man. Man's definitely Saris. cursed. Oh, Saris. Gotta get her out of here. <clears throat> she fell into the ghost tower. Day one in the ghost house. Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help <coughs> Udalik. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house Geralt. Would help it would have if I'd only found the sword. This woman's like 20, right? Or something? Why is Geralt kneeling to her like like he's giving a pep talk to like a a little league athlete? Like like he's he's giving a, a nice reassuring chat to somebody. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> so what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar. The ancestral Patronizing. sword of Udalric's clan. I need it to lift the curse that holds Udalric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udalric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udalric. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skellig. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his <coughs> waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to uh -oh. fish. Uh-oh. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udalric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udalric kill Aki? <coughs> I don't want to jump to any conclusions. Nah, but he's... But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udalric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. He's like having nightmares about, like, sea serpents eating people and stuff. He, he needs to sacrifice people to it. And I don't think he... I, I don't think he killed his brother. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember... Folk have said Udalric's the chosen one, the one the gods speak to. I believed it once, but now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. <coughs> Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. I don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked Aww. him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. Are we going to turn Aki into a nice, helpful guardian spirit or something? 
So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Bjork too. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Bjork's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. Aww. I think we have to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea. All right. On condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea. Said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and it's a family house. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Can I help? Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udalric. No yeah. chance. You're weak. Yeah, I was about to say. Again along the way. Wait here. We'll go together. I was about to say it's probably better. You know, you got a concussion and stuff. Probably better you you wait. God, nasty. Nasty. Alright, so why'd she faint in there, huh? Probably avoid the puddles, huh? Oh, that's a platter. I just decided this was the spot, then. It doesn't look like there's anything important here. Just, you know, the best place for a, a ghost concussion, really. Man, why do I keep taking water if I'm never going to drink it? Here, let me drink some of that water I've been hoarding. Oof. <laughs> Yo, actually, can I put it in my pocket? Hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Aw, oh, dang, I can't. Eh, would have been useful, but... <clears throat> nope, key required. Find the sword named Brokvar. Why, why is it leading me over here? Man, man, you don't know what you're talking about, quest marker. Water to replace the water I just drank. Oh, look, it's a key. Save the game. Open that up. Geronimo, I guess. Man, you don't like me being down here, huh? Yeah, light everything. Spooky cave. Where's the thing I gotta light? Man, light it. Man. Jeez, dude. I don't think I've ever seen that hand icon in my life. What is going on there? Hey, Geralt, are you not gonna like take a sample of, of the blatantly supernatural tar all over the ground and dripping from the ceiling? Are you not going to mention the ominous fog that constantly drifts through the house? What is... R okay. Oh, look, it's broke bar. Hey, man. You want to talk? Can what is this about? No. Not going to, like, express to me what's going on with the sword, dude. Yeah. Him. You're gonna like drag me back down or no? It's gonna let me walk away? <clears throat> How terribly ominous. Is it real sword or is it a quest item? Can can I equip it just for the laughs? Or is it Aw oh, man, <laughs> I can't. Ah oh, well. Hey dude. I found the sword. So, you find the sword? It's definitely cursed. I found it. Let's go. After you then. <laughs> He's gonna be so pissed. He's gonna be like, oh no, I left that sword up there because it's it's cursed as hell. Hope we still are. But well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. I kinda wanna talking about that story with Yennefer. Long time ago that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? I want to take my time so I can hear this conversation. Dried with Yen. What is it about her? 
What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. <laughs> Uh, more you like her because she's terrible. Alright. Man, I just, I really don't like Yennefer. For some reason, I just... She just... She just seems like a bad person to be in a relationship with, honestly. Like... <clears throat> hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Nah, we spend like months Look, apart. There they are. All the time. What are you doing? You gonna sacrifice a man? Horridly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Did Forgive him, you... Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige, and the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To oh. hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. <clears throat> These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, foreigner. You're in Skelliger, our land, and we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest, Jarl the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. Aww. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. Oh, I told uh oh. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. Oh, Geralt! I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. Oh, that made I... my heart melt. The gods will be angry. That is such... Oh, man. That, ma that made me happy. For some reason, that like that right there just... Mm. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki, and you'll surely please the gods. He is a. S what would you have me do? It's snowing! That Remember baby's practically naked! Near the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Olula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow mm. a handful of sailors each year. Coffee. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. I don't know. I don't I know don't if it know. is Aki. <clears throat> the gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. No. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? <clears throat> Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? I. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. <laughs> okay, bye. Don't like for Man, you know, they have a hard time <clears throat> pacing um, conversations that happen while walking because, like, that conversation I had with uh, What's-Her-Face back there, <clears throat> really, like, more than half the walk was uninterrupted silence. But then, like, I will be walking with a character at their pace, listening to them talk, and they'll get interrupted by a cutscene. Not even me, like, you know, going faster than expected or anything. This is an interesting island. Yo, wait, how small is it? Dude. Dude. You're 
You're practically a village chief, dude. You're not a Jarl. I don't know. <clears throat> I guess maybe he, like, owns the whole island and it's not his fault that barely anyone lives here. <laughs> oh, drownies? Drownmen? Alright. Let's, uh... Get that sorted. Cool. Hey, guys. Yeah, I don't want to fight, like, in the water, please. Hello? No. But, huh? You just... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Show me what you got. Come on. Shoot. Come on. Got it. Oh, shit. See, the difference is, these drowners have hair. Oh. Makes them more powerful. Stronger, you see. The hair soaks up water, right? Soaks up cursed monster water. Oh, come on, man. Ooh, now that's some nice combat music. Like the subtle, like... No, I can't remember what that horn is it's called. There's like a... It's not like a bagpipe. It's like a horn with like a reed in it. A chanter? No, that's that's like a, a bagpipe without the bag, I think is what a ch chanter is. But Ugh. I actually have a chanter. I just can't get it to work right. I, I think the, the reed is bad or something. Because it just won't make a sound. No matter how hard I blow, no matter how soft I blow, how carefully, how how I place my mouth, I just can't figure it out. I also have like a transverse Native American flute, which is weird, but I can't figure that one out either. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I, I collect flutes. Hello, it's me, Critzy. That used to be a, a, a thing that I was open about. But, you know, it kind of lost interest after, you know, years of th this stuff. <clears throat> Note, key with ring attached. Ah, you, you stole it, you stole it, didn't ya? You stole the fucking ring. Now how am I gonna find him? Hmm. The crooked masks, mast marks the spot, but not just any fool can find the treasure. Ooh. Oh, a puzzle, you say? Ooh, the crooked mast marks a spot. Hmm. Ooh. Oh. Must be the place. A riddle. Watch it just, like, show me directly where it is. Riddle hinting. The riddle. Yeah, just, uh, you know, let me... Cheat. I... I don't like that. At all. Where's... Where the fuck is your crossbow, dude? You, shoot it. There you go. Instant kill. So, like, these sirens look a lot less... monstery, Right? I mean, that's kind of a pretty creature, but I remember them being, like, gross, right? Do they, like, turn gross when they're up in the air or something? It's like, up there it definitely looks like a monster, that. That right there. But that guy... That guy looks like a lady. Hmm. Let me just get underwater since it, it apparently just instant kills things. And you? Nice. Does not give me any experience for water kills? No, no experience or loot. Weird mechanics, but alright. 
This body down there. There's a chest. Oh, come on now. <clears throat> oh, didn't I want to make a decoction? Or, or wait, no, I didn't have the stuff yet. It's some cool stuff. Hindersville. No. Possession. Now we're looking for, uh, I believe the corpse was over here, right? How can I see this well to begin with? Yeah, let me find a skeleton on the bottom of the fucking... On the bottom of the bay. Like 20 feet under the water. That accomplished, if anything. Time to see Udorek. It would have... Realistically, it would take, like, weeks of, like, combing the entire bottom of the sea to find that skeleton. But Geralt just dives on under there, using his witcher senses, which is just... I mean, at this point, it's not even, like, conceivable as, like, my, my senses are heightened by adding animal DNA via alchemy to my... Genetic code. No. This man has superpowers. That's supernatural. That's magic, dude. That's that's not mutation. That's sorcery. What a horrid sound. Just awful. Just terrible. Why'd you do it? What is this? Good luck. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Eh. Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Eh. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to say out oh. to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. Dude's possessed. It's like a, a biblical possession. The gods ever show you their form, <clears throat> or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering. Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. Mm. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. Hmm. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. Right in front of him? What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. N surely somebody else noticed that. Surely his druid. Well, <clears throat> know what it is? It's a heim, a post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. Ah. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. 
In the end, Himes forced their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Mm. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend What's to kill the baby. Other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse. Oh, places. I wouldn't be sleeping. It's not about sleeping. <clears throat> you've gotta draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. Yeah, I'd rather kill it. You're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick them. No, nope. I want to kill it. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Listen, it's it sounds cool and all the idea of tricking the the Heim, but like that would be that would be being responsible for it going on and finding another victim. I mean, they're not innocent victims, but, like, still, they'd be going on to somebody else, and that's not very witcherly. <clears throat> Udalric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udalric? No, that would mean losing its host. Mm. But Udalric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udalric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Mm. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notorious demon? to be hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. Demons exist? What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. No, I'd rather just do the Witcher's way. I'd, I'd rather just, just kill him. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough Witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Uh-huh. So to prove you wrong, I gotta do what you say now? As long as my name is not Yennefer, no one will call you henpecked for that. And remember, if we can't think of a good trick, we can still do it your way. I Fine. Why Let's would... Try to no! Time. Why? I wanna Into kill the, the Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. Man, whatever. Yeah, sure, let's go now, no but I gotta end delay. the episode. We're, we're, that's the wrong way. Yeah, okay. We're there. Hooray. Okay, well, I gotta pick this up next time, though. I'll see you later.